We are excited to be with you again in our online AKM class today. We are now in our fourth talk of the series called Depths of Mercy. The title of our fourth talk is Reluctant Preaching versus Repentant People. My name is Teacher Grace from Feast PICC AM Session. We pray that you are all safe at home with your family and looking forward to hearing our new lesson today. Kindly follow us on Facebook so we can bring our AKM class into your homes. Let us call Teacher Benji for the opening prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear God, thank you for all the blessings. Thank you for you never cease to love us. As we gather today, we ask the Holy Spirit to be with us. Open our hearts and minds to experience your overflowing mercy. In whatever situation we are in, help us to see your goodness. All this and all our personal concerns. We lift them up to you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us now call Martin to pray the Novena to God's Love. Everyone, let's pray the Novena to God's Love. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Today, I receive all of God's love for me. Today, I open myself to the unbounded, limitless, overflowing abundance of God's universe. Today, I open myself to God's blessings, healing, and miracles. Today, I open myself to God's Word so that I become more like Jesus every day. Today, I proclaim that I'm God's beloved, I'm God's servant, and I'm God's powerful champion. And because I'm blessed, I'm blessed in the world. In Jesus' name, Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Thank you, Martin. Teacher Ray will discuss our lesson for today. Last week, we talked about how Jonah was swallowed by a sea monster how he prayed inside its belly, and how God gave him a second chance. Let us continue studying the book of Jonah. As stated in Jonah chapter 3 verses 1 to 4, Then the Lord spoke to Jonah a second time. Get up and go to the great city of Nineveh and deliver the message I have given you. This time, Jonah obeyed the Lord's command and went to Nineveh a city so large that it took three days to see it all. On the day Jonah entered the city, he shouted to the crowds, Forty days from now, Nineveh will be destroyed. Finally, Jonah obeys God. But Jonah was sabotaging his own preaching, hoping his preaching would not work. He only preached for one day, even if the city was so large, it would take a three-day walk to go through it, according to the author. Also, the way he preached was he just gave a warning with no sign of repentance. Forty days from now, Nineveh will be destroyed. Surprisingly, the Ninevites repented upon hearing a lame sermon from a demotivated prophet. Truly, God is still in charge. Even with the half-hearted obedience from Jonah, God can take even what was meant for harm and turn it into good. All things will work for good to those who love God. From Romans chapter 8, verse 28, God was able to turn Jonah's half-hearted obedience into something good that it saved the Ninevites. God can turn bad into good. This is our big message today. God is working in every situation. You may not understand why at times bad things happen to us, but trust that God is in control. When God saw what the Ninevites had done and how they had put a stop to their evil ways, He changed His mind and did not carry out the destruction He had threatened. Even if we commit sin and do bad things, God can still turn this into something good. With God's mercy and power, He can do great things out of the little we offer Him. God likes searching for the good and the bad. Let us call Teacher Farah to guide us in our activity. Hi kids! Awesome morning! 
This is Teacher Farah. Are you excited for our activity? We have learned in this talk that God can turn your bad into good. Today, we will be doing an experiment to remind us of this. We will need the following materials. Clear drinking glass, water, paper, marker. Procedure Step 1. Draw a left arrow on the piece of paper. Step 2. Put it behind the clear drinking glass. Step 3. Slowly pour water into the glass. You can see that the left arrow will turn right behind the glass with water. But if you move the paper up above the water, you can see a left arrow. This is how refraction works. It is a phenomenon when a wave in this instance, a light wave is being bent when it passes through a medium, where the left arrow seen behind the glass turns right after water is poured inside the glass. Just as what God can do in our lives, He can take us from darkness into light. God can turn our bad into good. Hope you had fun doing our activity. Do take a photo of you doing the experiment and post this in the comments section of our Facebook page. We would love to see you and what you did. See you again next Sunday! Let us all remember that we are in the presence of the Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear Lord, thank you for loving us unconditionally even if sometimes our obedience is imperfect. We are so blessed and grateful for your mercy. You can turn bad into good. You can do great things out of the little we offer. Help us to be more like you by following you little by little every day. Grant us the gift of your Holy Spirit so that we can make more disciples here on earth. All this we pray in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.